I was talking about judge because that, that's you know my my bet uh for the head category is uh, a judge home run plus 155 why not why not keep betting that you know it is the interesting conundrum of like why are you not walking him and it's like you pointed out that there's no real reason for the nationals to not just walk him and yet teams don't do it. it it must be a pride thing and maybe it's a it's a pitcher thing where like i'm i, I could get this guy out and the manager's like yeah my guy can get him out and the catcher's like i'm gonna call these pitches we're gonna get him out and then you don't time after time after time and we saw him you know two home runs last game 50 and 51 goes back to back to back with Juan Soto and Giancarlo Stan, people keep making like the Bonds esque comparisons. Like he's literally Barry Bonds in his prime, hitting all these home runs. It is close to that. I tweeted something out a couple days ago. I just feel like the praise for Judge is not even where it should be. Like you still have weirdos who are like Bobby Witt for MVP, and you have people, you know, going crazy over Otani's uh, Grand Slam the other night. I know the whole 40 40 thing. But, like, no one is talking about what Aaron Judge is doing is how many home runs he's hit and how many few games and few at-bats. The guy is larger than life, literally. And maybe it's a Yankee thing, but, like, to me, Judge is, like, the most likable guy. This gentle giant is, never does a thing wrong. And yeah. having 51 home runs before August is up, before, like, week one of college football, like, it is, it is crazy. What I heard Sheck say uh, a month or so ago that he thought baseball had a chance to catch the NBA in terms of popularity, like, yeah. couldn't shake my head faster. I know. Okay, so we have a guy who's doing something historic, who's perfectly clean, who's a completely likable, the best player on the biggest franchise by far in the entire country and nobody talks about him meanwhile like the seventh man on the knicks is about to make 50 million dollars a year and so like yeah. the idea that baseball is catching uh, the nba is ludicrous because the very best guy in the very best situation having the most historic season still doesn't get talked about to the point where you have to complain about on this podcast what kind of coverage he's getting